Congratulations to 20 years Red Bull Terry. Congratulations on the 20th anniversary. Huge congratulations on your 20th year at Red Bull. 20 years on Red Bull, it's incredible. 20 years on Red Bull. Congrats on 20 years with Red Bull. Congratulations on 20 years with Red Bull. Congratulations on 20 years with Red Bull, man. Congratulations on 20 years with Red Bull. On 20 years of being a Red Bull athlete. How do I say thank you to the company for 20 years? BMX in Tulum, right? Yeah. What's up, man? Hey, what's I'm, up? I'm Terry. Terry? Yeah. Brianna? Yeah. Oh, giving me the opportunity to live my dreams. Flatland is the smallest discipline in BMX. Growing up, 200 page BMX magazine, there might be four photos in there of Flatland riders. And I'd rip those four photos out stick them on my wall and eventually my entire wall was covered with flatland riders and my whole goal in life my obsession became being as great as those riders that were on my wall it's cool that's my mom's window right there and uh i took letters from the mailbox and i spelled bmx and i remember it said bmx on the window there I got these books when I was a kid just writing down these ideas about tricks but then if you go a little bit deeper I'm kind of even as a kid writing stuff in these books about like deep mental thoughts and how to stay on the bike and how to stay focused. Today is the day where my riding is going to change, my style will get smoother and my trick will go on forever. Even though Flatland wasn't a traditional sport, it's something that I love doing. It's like an art, you know, everyone out there is basically painting a picture with their bike. I remember going down the street with the kids in my neighborhood and we were all talking about what we were going to do when we grew up, like what profession we were going to have, uh, what job we were going to have. and. I remember the one kid said he wanted to be a doctor and then the other kid quickly, his brother, said he was going to be a dentist and they looked at me as we were pedaling down the street and I was like, come on guys, you know what I'm going to say, like, I, I want to be a professional BMX rider. But the crazy thing was there was no clear pathway on how to really make that happen. You know, I wasn't looking to get into BMX for, for money. I wasn't looking to get into BMX for fame. I was looking to ride my bike because it felt good and I wanted to do everything in my power to do it as long as I could. The moment I actually got out there on the contest floor as a kid, immediately something came over me where I fell in love with the process of preparing for these contests. I fell in love with the journey. I fell in love with the preparation leading up to it. Eventually, I got some people to support me a little bit. I ended up going to Japan and um, come back from Japan like the next week. And I get a call from Scott. He says, man, I got these guys from Red Bull at my house. I think you really need to come over here and meet these guys. And I was like, oh, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm riding today by my house. I just got my driver's license. He said, no, man, you're not listening to what I'm saying. Drive over here and meet these guys because it could change your life forever. So 2002, this was the year before I got on. Red Bull and actually I had brought a video over to my friend's house and showed that video. I put the VHS tape in and we're watching it and we're basically watching this video of uh, this contest in Japan and 
the guy that was there said, man, so who won this contest that you just went to? And I said, I did. He said, wow, that, that's pretty cool. I got a call the very next week. I had went to Portugal and I came back. I went over there for the world championships. As soon as I came back, I called someone at Red Bull and I'm like, hey, I just want to let you guys know, I took that first check that you guys sent me, that payment, and I flew myself to Portugal. I used that money for the flight and for the hotel and for my entry fee. I'll never forget what he said. He said, Terry, that's not what that money was for. If you want to compete and you want to travel around the world and show your talents, you just let us know and we're going to help you out with that. But that money, do whatever you want with it. You can buy a waterbed for all we care. And I was just silent. Because in that moment, I realized what it meant to be sponsored by Red Bull. It meant that I could wake up every day and just focus on what I love to do. And nothing else mattered. I remember when I first started getting these packages in the mail, um, they were hats. It means something to me to hold on to these hats. It's a reminder to me that my dreams came true and someone actually believed in me. When I think of all the places that Flatland has taken me, it's insane. Nightclubs, business meetings, ridden on the side of mountains, just rode with fireflies recently, you know, underneath the stars and the moon, underneath the water, a wing of a 747 airplane, I rode Flatland. One of my goals many years ago was to bring Flatland as many places as I could to show people how cool it was, to show people how unique it was. And most importantly, I always hoped that I could show people that it deserved to be in the forefront. In any career this long, there's always gonna be some like peaks and valleys. Terry Adams is one of the world's best BMX flatland riders. The suspense here, all I really hear right now is the crowd getting behind their guy, Terry. I definitely had those years that I was on fire. And I definitely had a few years there where I was lacking, but then my son was born in 2018. Baby announcement. Everything has to do with bikes around here. Everything. Everything changed for me. I was able to look at myself in the mirror and know that I was starting to take things for granted. I had a, another human on this earth and I had this opportunity right in front of me and the last thing I was going to do was let it go. By letting myself go, I immediately got to work. The work that I've been doing the past four years to get back where I'm at right now, I'm extremely proud of. I 
want it to be the best I had ever been. Flatland is something where you have to have so much focus because the moment your mind kind of starts to drift, you're going to fall off that bike. Oh, that was it. Keep up the fucking but front wheel. That's what's so great about it. The accomplishment that you get when you actually learn something that you thought of, it's almost like a blueprint to life because if you can accomplish something like that on your bike that you thought of, it kind of makes you feel like you can accomplish anything. When I think about all the accomplishments I've had and everything that I've done in this 20 years, what was the thing I'm most proud of? And it's definitely the times I was able to give another rider or be a part of giving another rider a piece of their story. Yeah, this is your wife, bro. Yeah. I'm going to give you this wife. Not for you, but for yourself. Give Brock his first Red Bull hat right in front of my house. Be there the day that Keo got his Red Bull hat. Keo. Keo. And to think that I was a part of that moment, knowing that that could be a life changing moment for them that could last 20 years and they could remember that just like I remember the moment when I got that phone call or when I got that hat. That's what I'm most proud of. I've heard other riders say to never let a brand define you, but in my case, I feel like it's a bit different. I've woken up every day and put this hat on my head more than half of my life. It's what I do. It's what I love. It's what I've spent my entire childhood like wanting to be this pro rider. I owe it to myself to keep going and give it everything I got. When I started getting support from Red Bull, they didn't care how small Flatland was. I like to think that they saw a fire burning inside a kid that wanted to do something that he loved. I'm so thankful because here we are, 20 years later, and that flame's still burning.